Nine months after the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy, two Muskego girls are honoring their late grandmother who died in that attack. She was a member of the Dancing Grannies. Erin Mabin now with how footsteps and a banner are keeping her memory alive. With every step, Brooke and Mackenzie Sorensen are celebrating their grandmother's life and the memories she left behind. Always me and her hanging outside. Like we used to have like some snacks and like talk outside. The two are holding the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies banner in Muskego's Dandelion Days Parade. It's a way to honor their grandmother, Virginia Sorensen, who was one of the six killed in the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. I like doing the banner because like there are people like cheering around us and it kind of makes me happy. We love Brooke and Mackenzie. Brooke used to come to practices a lot. This act continues to touch the Milwaukee dancing grannies. Ginny's always said, no matter what, you keep on dancing. You girls keep on going if you make a mistake. In a, no matter what it is, you keep going. They are doing all that with bright outfits and synchronized dance moves. The crowd enjoyed every moment. These parades mean everything to us. This is a special connection because like they're my grandma's friends two girls carrying a banner one group carrying a message no matter what happens if you work at it if you stay strong if you admit the good with the bad you can get through anything such touching moments during this parade in muskego you can see the dancing grannies next during labor day weekend in St. Francis. Reporting in Muskego, Aaron Mabin, Fox 6 News. And those girls will be there. Aaron, thank you.